Hello up bags, it's Jade, welcome to an Assassin's Creed quick guide today showing you the location of a legendary creature in the early stages of the game where you can pretty much take on a giant massive elk. Southwest of the starting settlement once you get through the very first cutscenes you will find a giant massive peak. Now this isn't a eagle vision peak, it's just simply somewhere where you can get a panoramic vision. The mysterious blue light symbol should pop up if you are doing your eagle vision within nearby. And you can see it here grazing alongside this ice shelf just on this little cliffside here. As well as getting you 1200 XP for killing it, so pretty decent alongside a lot of the mysterious missions like this, you'll also be able to get its head and use it as a decoration once you get your settlements up and running in England. Don't bother trying to do what I did here, firing bow and arrows at it. It didn't seem to do actually any damage. When I land, it pretty much had its full health. As you can see, it's pretty pissed off and it's pretty dangerous. I nearly got my ass handed to me in the very early stages of the game. It does a pretty ferocious attack where it'll chuck you into the air with its huge horns. But it's not the worst creature. You can see it's got a fairly big, large stamina bar and its health pool will go down rapidly, even with just the basic start weapons that you have. Keep wailing on it and it shouldn't be too much of an issue. It does have that back kick, which can catch you and it's a little bit nasty too, but this is definitely the one that you want to avoid. You can see it does a fair amount of damage there and definitely one you don't want to get caught up in too much. But otherwise you should be able to dodge its attacks fairly easily and as I said it's a pretty decent 1200 XP, early stages, very close. You'll get the standard 15 level for killing something around this size, so a pretty decent haul there too. And obviously yeah, it's the first mystery that I completed. Even so early in the game you'll keep that head now until we go to England and as I said you will be able to use it as decorations in your settlement when you get there. Now, there's a couple little chests here as well, so I'm going to show you the location of these. Pretty much you need to climb back up to the rock face, just where that section of waterfalls is. Don't go down there just yet. Just briefly show you exactly where we are on the map once more on the mountain. You can see we've got the golden glow of some wealth there, and there's one just below us too. So climb directly above where you just killed the bloody peak elk, and on this waterfall here, just underneath it or just through it, you will find a chest with some gold and a little note. The note teases the location of a skilled hunter and we're going to go and find him because that's going to be the warlock. But before we do that though, keep going down the waterfalls and eventually you'll come to these icicles hanging by. Alongside a little ledge you'll find another little chest with some extra bit of loot inside, just leather and iron and another note. This guy wasn't a great hunter and he ended up getting owned by that elk. From this point you pretty much follow this path all the way down the mountainside and then we're going to be heading even more southwest. Although actually it's probably a lot more west, call your horse for sure and just keep going and you should see the next mystery blue dot. Be careful or be cursed. Foul magic gathers here. A pestilence poisons this. What is this menace you shout about? So this hunter has been tasked with killing a warlock by King Harold and it's up to you to go either go and assist him or maybe not. So follow the signpostings up and go along the fence posts and you'll eventually you'll come to the hunter in the snow and the warlock just sitting down having a cup of brew on his porch. Have you come to face me finally? Or will you continue to harass me from afar? Ah, uh, the moral choices. He pretty much spins a tale that he was only trying to help the hunter's sister and obviously things went wrong as it often does in the world of magic and medicine. And then you've got a decision whether to help the warlock or actually go ahead and kill him. The telegraphing for this fight could have been a bit better. He decided to stop yapping to you and just go and start attacking the hunter in some bushes where you could literally not see a clue about what's going on. I ended up killing the hunter pretty much almost by accident, I really was just hitting and seeing which one I would actually take out first and I did manage to kill the hunter guy and that was it, he said I could have his belongings. So not much loot but you do get 1200 XP and of course again it's a pretty easy mystery to get very early on in the game. And there we go, that is the warlock and the giant elk taken care of. I hope this has been beneficial. If it has, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Go and check out my Let's Play content of Assassin's Creed Valhalla and definitely look out for more guides about weapons, mysteries and where to get the best loot. Until next time, laters.